All right, so here we are. Um, and this is actually the spot that we talked about when we caught the last beaver, how there was more sign down here. And uh, yesterday, you know, you call it user error, but we had the trap in there and we had a snapped off trap. So I don't know exactly what happened, but they snapped it off on us and didn't get caught. So all we did was reset it, you know, piled some more sticks. There were a whole bunch more sticks here. So obviously they swam up and set the trap off somehow. It didn't affect them too much because they piled a whole bunch more sticks from eating uh, right here. So we just moved some of those back a little bit for some more eye appeal and uh, came out here this morning. <clears throat> and he's got another beaver in this trap. <clears throat> And this is a little bit bigger beaver than the one that we caught the other day. Um, Duke number three, and you can see that they are not big enough, like a TS-85, to catch the whole beaver's foot. We got pretty lucky on this one, actually. Uh, but it held his toes, and we had real deep water and a real heavy sack, and that's the key to it. So you got to make sure that you have those two things so you can go ahead and drown those beavers if they, if they do get caught uh, a little bit marginally. But... So that's the, the argument for the TS-85. They're really expensive compared to a Duke number three or something like that. These traps will hold beaver, but you can see that his foot is just bigger than the jaw spread of that trap. So anyway, that's it. It's a good one. Gonna be a heavy, heavy carry back up the river.